नमस्कार एंड वेलकम आई यथ आज से का इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मिनट्स विल बी गेटिंग यू द टॉप 24 न्यूज ऑफ द लास्ट 24 फोर आवर्स झारखंड हाईकोर्ट टेक कंसाइन ऑफ अंकिता सिंह मर्डर केस समन्स डी जी पी एंड सीक्स अ रिपोर्ट ऑन द मैटर द कोर्ट ऑल्सो इंस्ट्रक्ट टू प्रोवाइड सिक्योरिटी टू द गर्ल्स फैमिली फॉर्मर झारखंड चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड बीजेपी लीडर रघुवर दास एलेज इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ पॉपुलर फ्रंट ऑफ इंडिया इन द अंकिता सिंह मर्डर केस As per a report, Raghavar Das said that Noor Mustafa has PFI connections. PFI is an Islamist organization and is accused of radical activities. The National Commission for Protection of Girl Child has taken Suvo Moto consign of the Ankita's murder, who succumbed to injuries after she was allegedly burnt alive by the stalker Mohammad Shahrukh Hussain. A team of the NCPCR will soon visit the village. The girl was reportedly burnt alive for turning down the proposal of accused Shahrukh. Madras High Court has issued a list of 24 conditions to be adhered during the Ganesh Chaturthi and the subsequent immersion. The Supreme Court has closed down all proceedings initiated in the aftermath of the 2002 Godhra communal riots in Gujarat. The Apex Court also drew a curtain on a batch of contempt petition against Uttar Pradesh government and its officials stemming from the demolition of the Babri controversial structure in the Ayodhya 1992. Three brothers Irshad, Israr and Irfan arrested for killing sisters Hindu Dalit boyfriend Ankit in Basti. Ankit's body was recovered from a sugarcane field in the village. The Muslim god had allegedly committed suicide after the Ankit's murder. Aligarh police has arrested Muhammad Azad for vandalizing idols in Hindu temple in Aligarh district. The incident took place on the intervening night of August 28 and August 29. As per the reports Muhammad Azad was equipped with a hammer and damaged over half a dozen idols. Trader Ishaq Ibrahim runs away without paying after buying apples worth rupees 2 crore. Ishaq is a resident of Mehboob Nagar in Telangana. Krishnan Thakur president of Keshipu Apple Market Association has asked the police to apprehend the fugitive leader as soon as possible. The Karim Ganj police has arrested three people in connection to abduction and the rape of 18 year old girl. The accused has been identified as Suleiman Ali, Nasiruddin and Rahimuddin. One of the accused is still on the run from the law enforcement authorities. The men are aged between 19 to 23 and are residents of Dalgram village. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will commission INS Vikram, India's first indigenously built aircraft carrier at Cochin Shipyard Limited in Kochi on September 2. A doctor was thrashed by TRS MLA Bethu Subhash Reddy and his associates after he failed to receive him at gate of his healthcare center. A week after the incident, the doctor was transferred. Even as the Congress reels from the resignation of top leader Gulam Nabi Azad, the worst seems to have not passed as 51 leaders are set to resign and join Azad's new party. Since Azad's resignation, 64 leaders have left the Congress party. Former Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir Gulam Nabi Azad in an interview to a TV channel said that there are leaders within the Congress who are aiding BJP's Congress Mukh Bharat. Trinamool Congress leader Abhishek Banerjee has been summoned on September 2 by Enforcement Directorate in connection with a coal smuggling case. Gurgaon police have arrested a man whose video slapping a security guard at a residential society in Gurgaon went viral on social media on August 29. Varun Nath, a resident of the Close North Society of Nirvana Country in Gurgaon, slapped a security guard of the society for having to wait for 5 minutes inside a lift which got stuck due to a technical glitch. In the Siddhu Musewala murder case, Lawrence Bishnoi's aide detained in Azerbaijan says sources. The key suspect Sachin Bishnoi used a fake passport for international travel. He had changed his identity to Tilak Raj Tuteja. The National Commission for the Protection of Child Rights has moved to Supreme Court challenging the Punjab and Haryana High Court order in which a Muslim girl over 16 year old is competent to enter into a contract of marriage with a person of her choice under the Muslim personal law. In a message to China amid the lingering military standoff between the two countries on a number of friction points in eastern Ladakh S Jay Shankar said that sovereignty and territorial integrity will have to be respected. 
initiative that impact the region must be consultative and unilateral. Connectivity in particular should be transparent, viable and market based. The Indian Army successfully completed trials for indigenously developed and manufactured Pinaka enhanced range rockets. This comes as a major success for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's effort for Make in India. The rockets will help replace import from Russia and would be offered by Indians to friendly nations for exports. An official of the Post and Telegraph Department in Agra has said that they are working on introducing drone-based delivery of parcels in the near future. A similar experiment is already underway in Gujarat and Agra could soon follow suit. He said that for the facility of people, the department is planning to open 10,000 more post offices by December 2022 and apart from delivering mail, the post office will also work as service point for availing government services. Amid Delhi excise policy row, social activist Anna Hazare has written to Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal slamming him for getting intoxicated with power Aap satta ke mein dub gaye hain, and for getting the ideologies and values for the movement that created the Aam Army Party. According to the National Crime Records Bureau Annual Crime in India report for the year 2021, the number of policemen killed in violence by left-wing extremists were double than those who were slain by terrorists. A Muslim man gives triple talaq to wife after she served her cold vegetables. The incident of triple talaq has come to light from PLB. It is being said that husband became so angry with the wife for serving cold vegetables in the food that he threw the wife out of the house by saying talaq talaq talaq. The victim has pleaded with the police for assistance. A case has been registered against the Muslim men. India reports 5,439 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. The active case comprised 0.15% of the total infection, while the national COVID-19 recovery rate has increased to 98.66%. We will be back with news at 9 tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy and do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel.